Hey everyone, I'm going to be comparing the Ordinary and the Minimalist, so let's get started. First up, I have the Niacinamide by Ordinary, which is a 10% variant. It helps to fade blemishes and controls excess oiliness. The Minimalist has two variants. I prefer the 5% one because it has a lower risk of purging and does the same job. Both can be used AM and PM, whichever one you choose, introduce it slowly into your skincare routine. Then we're comparing the Ordinary Glycolic Acid Toner with the Minimalist PHA Toner. The Glycolic Acid can be slightly high for the face because it's seven percent i would use it on the body dark elbows strawberry skin all of that the minimalist one has pha which is a mild gentle exfoliator for sensitive and beginners it fades pigmented dark spots and it's also hydrating so my opinion i would use the minimalist for the face and the ordinary for the body now let's compare the peptide serums the ordinary buffet and the minimalist multi-peptide serum both of them target signs of aging get firmer looking skin and also hydrate the skin I've been using the buffet for years now and the minimalist one for about six months and i've noticed they both have very similar results the key difference is that the minimalist one has a small quantity of lactic acid which means it also exfoliates dark spots but both are great for anti-aging and can be used daily my most favorite from the ordinary is the retinol in squalane it is a very very effective ingredient when it comes to aging acne and pigmentation the minimalist one does exactly the same job the only difference is that it only comes in one portion which is 0.03% while with the ordinary you can choose from 0.2 up to 5% depending on what your skin needs having said that I quite like the minimalist formulation I feel like it's great for beginners and for sensitive skin the ordinary rose hip oil is infamous when it comes to pigmentation minimalist has taken inspiration from this yet again and they've added 3% vitamin C to it which if you ask me is quite clever because it makes it more effective against pigmentation the only one product by the ordinary I don't like at all is their mineral sunscreen because it gives a major white cast the minimalist has two hybrid sunscreens i'm going to compare the spf 61 as this is pregnancy safe this has no white cast and is my preferred option overall both brands have bomb formulations you should get one that's accessible and affordable for you let me know if you've tried any of these and i'll see you in my next video bye